got some concerning news. Apparently, there's some drama going on with ReZero Season 3 behind the scenes. And people have told me that this could be fake, that this is misleading information. So take everything that you hear from this video, everything from here, with a grain of salt. But let's get going. Oh, Stride Valakia. Oh, Valakia. Empire down below. Okay. So, I woke up to quite a storm. Replying to the leaks that are floating from about 122 regarding ReZero and Masahiro Shinohara. Let me just preface this first by saying I do respect 122's opinion on the matter. Okay. However, I don't fully agree with the extent in which he portrayed it. The chances of the Season 3 project collapsing, uh-oh, collapsing and going to shit are minimal. Okay, good, good, right? We're, we're, we're good. It's, we're not going to get a Tower of God moment, right? In my opinion, especially with the constant sensible decisions to further split broadcasts. I also don't think all of Shinohara's decisions are foolish, and a lot of them will not be things viewers will see reflected in plain view. So let's just stop for a second. Can you guys give me context on who Shinohara and 122 is? Is Masahiro Shinohara the main man behind White Fox that's going to be overseeing how ReZero will be directed? Made? Shinohara is the new director. Okay. And 122 equals leaker Shinohara equals ReZero director. Director... 122 is a Chinese external leaker. Why the number 122 specifically? So, right now... The scene is, this is a Chinese leaker that supposedly has info about ReZero behind the scenes. And he's saying, Shinohara, the newest Season 3 director, is trash. That's what the gossip seems to be at the moment. Got it. It's true that Shinohara has, not, has a not-so-professional history using public information. Before he deleted his Twitter, his profile was literally just the middle fingers and captions saying he wanted to change careers. I mean, this basis has no correlation to his talent for directing ReZero, but okay. It's also true that I would much rather have Watanabe on this project if we could choose due to his immense reputation. Now, Watanabe is behind Season 1 and Season 2? Is it both? Watanabe is Season 1 and Season 2. Got it. If we could choose due to his immense reputation, is there a reason why Watanabe is no longer doing ReZero Season 3? Does anybody know? The leaker's word can be taken with a huge grain of salt because apparently they're a ReZero hater. Got it. 122 is a huge ReZero hater. Got it. He left with White Up Fox? Burnouts. Probably other projects? Interesting. But with that said, my opinion on Shinohara currently is that we should support him and has so far, despite anything in the past or behind the scenes stuff, shown to be stepping up to do the job and producing results. And I have no reason to believe, currently, that anything done behind the scenes will cause ReZero Season 3 to utterly collapse. 122, the Chinese leaker, is basically just creating hysteria and, you know, this Twitter account saying, nah, everything is pretty much good. In fact, currently, I believe the total opposite and remain hyped and excited to see Season 3 in its all its glory. I have a train to catch in 10 minutes, but if you have questions, I can try answer them when I have time. I am not sure if I forgot something to say, but I would advise people to not get in panic stations because of the information. Okay. And here is some art and <coughs> one of the most interesting things. I'm perfectly fine with looking at, you know, promo pictures like this. Don't scroll. Why not don't scroll? We've already, we've already scrolled below. You're telling me that I can't read this shit? Like, you're telling me that I can't read this shit? I want to I wanna check out the comments. I want to check out the comments because this is pretty interesting unless there's fucking porn here, but... Guys. Blonde hair. Right? Blonde hair, right? What's the color of her eyes? Guys. Guys. The defining trait of Lugunikin royal blood. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 kind of red, right? Like this is more red. Like Felt is definitely the lost princess of Lugunika that got kidnapped. 
but don't tell me anything, but just, you know, just, just a little picture immediately. Hmm, <laughs> gets me kind of hyped up, right? It gets me kind of hyped up. Now let's read some comments. All right, made my train with two minutes to spare. No one cares about your train. Why are you fucking mentioning this? And of course, Twitter Blue doubled my post in my tweet. <laughs> I don't know how to fuck paid product is making my Twitter experience worse. Based, actually. Thank you for sharing this, actually. Fuck Twitter. <laughs> but anyways, delete the other one. I kind of rushed my post to make my train. I get it. You got a train to catch. Okay, just hold on a second. But just so there can be no misinterpretation of what I'm saying, let me iterate. <coughs> Sorry. Let me reiterate. No. ReZero Season 3 will not be shit. All right, but is it going to be mid? I'm worried about that. I am worried that it's going to be like Tower of God, where Tower of God right now isn't shit, but it's so mid and it might be even worse than shit. I don't know. All right, kind of rushed the post. No reason will not be shit. There is far, far more positive about the project than a couple of natives uh, that won't even be reflected to the viewers. Okay, and this picture, and this picture is results and I have no belief. Oh, this is just a repost of the tweet just to clarify that it's not going to be shit and to add since I've amassed a lot. No, this isn't something that is all likely to affect things like the final product quality. Okay, there's a lot of tireless work going on. Sure, sure, sure. Everything is good. Uh, also, I don't understand Chinese and relied on an English translation. Someone told me Chinese text is a lot more negative. If so, then I fully cannot uh, cannot get be on beyond on board with 122's opinion at all. Uh, please understand that I am currently traveling the Japanese countryside, and uh, this has been a flurry. Sure, sure, sure. So, can I consider him a fraud? 122, I think. He also said Bleach has this disastrous schedule. So let's look at this. Take him as exaggerating about it, especially with this wording, but 122 is not a liar. I just don't agree with the way he put it, and I feel like it might be also influenced by some of his personal opinions a bit too much. About Bleach, I don't know though. I heard it was having big production problems. Sorry, having production problems. If he said that, he's right. Thank you for the clarification, brother. Chibi is cooking up a video right now that will probably farm as well. Unless 122 has connections to staff members in the studio, everything he says is to be taken with a grain of salt especially considering his fake leaks on Dantadan and Dragon Ball Daima. Are you able to explain what foolish actions 122 is referring to specifically? Let's look at this one. The statement is extremely vague. Is 122 more giving Shinohara shit? Remember, Shinohara being the newest director because of actual decisions being made within the production of because, or because of personal issues. Any information is appreciated. This question was answered on another platform. What was it? You didn't fucking give me it, but all right. What is- what leak is this? What, what is this shit? Among the completed situation- oh, this is the, uh, leaks that Chibi, uh, covered recently, right? There was a whole thing about leakers reveal multiple anime in production only a few days after leakers face prison time, right? ReZero directing is acting foolishly. Let's see how shit it will become. Probably Cap, right? 122 is just making a broad statement here without any actual fucking facts. Don't get your hopes up too much for Blue Lock Season. <laughs> this guy's just a doomer, man. A oh, 122 leaked all that. I mean, the number 122 is also here, but... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> these dudes are such fucking doomers. Did you post something on Discord? What am I checking on Discord? Hold up. Nothing. Blue Lock... <laughs> this is pretty funny, though. <laughs> this straight up is like... <laughs> Don't get your hopes up too much for Blue Lock. It's over. <laughs> The anime of Seven Deadly Sins is a leading project of Kodansha. Fuck Kodansha, we're not watching that shit. Not sure if Devils Apart Timer Season 3 has been cancelled. Oh man, Season 2 was a fucking mess. Rama Half Season 2 is almost finished being produced. Wow. Mappa bro, they fucking farming. They fucking farming, man. But this 122 guy, I don't... Again, like... Is he a certified, well-credited, like, respected leaker? Has this shit always been true? I don't know, but damn, it's pretty funny. It's just don't get your hopes up for Blue Lock is funny to me. <laughs> you say that you don't think all of his decisions are foolish. Is there anything you can say about behind the scenes? Yeah, can we know any details, man? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What need is there in respecting the opinion of someone who doesn't give a fuck about the industry and those who work in it? Not sure why that point was necessarily included. Uh, it's because this would highlight his bias. This friend of fucking Twitter accounts fucking having a dumbass fucking arguments about bullshit, but that's pretty much it. 
summary of this video is this girl might be <laughs> Lugunikin. <laughs> Another thing is uh, 122, right? Chinese leaker. Who knows if it's true or not, but based on everything that we've seen so far, there is no need to be worried about ReZero Season 3. But <laughs> there may be some worries about <laughs> Blue Lock Season 2. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. So this is what we should be worried about, guys. ReZero will be fine, but Blue Lock? Oh no, we might be cooked.